Oh, there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Pastiche of Skin here on no new episode of Final Fantasy on Pastiche of Skin here on the channel. Damn it! Messed that up horribly. Never mind. We're all good, right? Back to the work. <laughs> um, yeah, we just finished off a mission where we had to feed a cat, then dodge a giant fucking eagle. Well, oil eagle hurricane creature thing it was fucking terrifying. Um, with a lot of sneaky, sneaky walkie walk. And now we're actually staying in a glitzy glamorous hotel that we cannot afford. We've got a massive boost of AEXP to get ourselves up to level 8 and boost all of our skills. So where do we go next? I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Memory filter for Prompto's photography. So we're going to see some cool photography tricks he's going to pull off here, I'm sure. <laughs> so, like, uh, of course, everybody's kind of leveled and skills are being leveled up along the way. Um, ooh, there we go. We've got to see Prompto's photographs of this particular day. Uh, fishing. That sucked. She sucked. That's actually quite a nice shot. I actually like that one. That's a, that's actually like a good profile shot. Oh yeah, that Ignis looking badass actually. Yeah, shit. <laughs> He's actually found a couple of cool things. All right, so what you can't see out of this shot, what is actually happening? See that in the corner. See that right there over in the far side of the shot, over right next to the rocks. That's the fucking thing's teal. I'm talking the tip. This is the wee bit that you would see just on the end of the tip. That's the fucking teal. To the right of this is a giant goddamn monster. Look at the bastard. That was fucking terrifying. Um, yeah. I don't see him in that photo. Yeah, I guess just standing in the middle of the road. Me tromping my way back down to tell the guy, fuck you for making me have to dodge that thing. Um, yeah. Fuck, that thing was big. I'm pretty sure we're going to beat its ass at some point. We're going to see it a couple more times throughout the game, I'm sure, but not... <laughs> I wasn't ready for that shit. So. That's us done and dusted with those. Where do we go next? Essentially, we're actually waiting now to grab our ferry that Dino sorted out for us after we went and got that shitty jam from because of that giant bird was blocking it so now we um, can get our ferry across the island it means that we can't go back to this location for a period of time it did warn us that so I'm assuming that's it's where the open world start closes down a little bit towards story ooh cutscene so yeah this is the events of King's Glee that are happening at the exact same time So we heard about the treaty along the, that we were actually that's happening. The reason why we're going to get mar going to get married to Luna Freya. This is what's happening while the treaty was meant to be signed. Um, everything's going to shit. Our father's back at home. There's battles galore. This giant beast of a bastard is going to take down our dad. Shit is hitting the fan left, right, center. The shield around our city is gone, and fucking Ultima weapon is just goddamn showing up. Huh. So yeah, we've got that to look forward to whenever we wake up in the morning. So for me, this makes a lot of sense. I understand absolutely everything that's going on here, but for absolutely anybody who's not been following the Final Fantasy XV franchise, this is a wall of fucking information that's not going to help them at all. Um, yeah. The fact that it was all done with no dialogue, no narration, no explanation, and just as a cutscene. I don't know how... I don't know how to actually kind of fill that in comfortably into the story uh, here. Hey, uh, morning. Huh. Well, that happened. God Where's damn it. Specs? Should be back any minute now. I was worried there for a second. I thought the mic wasn't on. Huh. I had a mild panic there whenever I looked down and saw a webcam with an X through it. It means I'm here. Obviously, you can see me. Yeah. What's that look for? He brings the news. It's in all the papers. What is? Insomnia. False. What? Just your idea of no, a joke? I'm pretty sure this is the guy who has so literally no sense of humor. I'm as calm as I'm gonna get. There was an attack. The Imperial Army has taken Fuck. the city. As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the citadel had cleared, the king was found dead. No, wait. Hold on. 
We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. That insomnia... But the wedding! Altitia! I know. That was the plan. Yet the reports of the invasion are all the same. How could every headline in the kingdom be wrong? Oh, well, there was a planned coup. <sighs> If only. <sighs> what else do we know? Well, then we can't be sure until we see it with our own eyes. And that means we go back to insomnia. Might not be safe. For yeah, us here. <clears throat> might not be safe. That's for us here. not gonna be safe anywhere, to be honest, dude. Turn back. It's on you, not just make the choice. Yeah. Yeah. While waiting for the boats to go out, ill tidings arrive. The headlines say Insomnia has fallen and King Regis is dead. But the four cannot be sure until they see it with their own eyes. In search of the truth, they make their way back to the Crown City. I probably read that a little too fast considering the loading time is so goddamn slow. Why are we waiting? We are suffocating. Loading, loading, loading. Singing slow cause low. Ding. Come on. I can understand that's actually like reloading large sections of the game, but let's crack here. Driving back in the rain, tops up. Cool. Yeah. I don't think this is music time. I hope everyone's okay. Head back past Hammerhead at least. A lot of good hoping's gonna do. You mustn't lose faith. Really? Can faith stop a fleet of Imperial dreadnoughts? Just give it a rest. My old man had plenty of faith. Enough. The Empire lied. Mm -hmm. They betrayed us. Conjecture gets us nowhere. We're it's just us in the American way. No, hang on, sorry, the insomnia way. Like that ceasefire. Yeah, there was no ceasefire. I know what happened. It's the thing is, I get to be Luna Frey in this because in the Oracle I saw all, I know all, I know what happened. I fucking told you at the beginning. Screw that guy. Look at the size of those things. Imperial Dreadnoughts. Whoa! They transport soldiers, namely the Magitek Infantry. The robots? Mass-produced humanoid weapons of warfare, to be more precise. That doesn't look no, like it doesn't look like that history. anytime soon. Damn! Yeah, that's an invading army. Uh-oh. Up ahead! <laughs> what the hell? They've set up an inspection point. If the road ahead's blocked, then we find a way around. Yeah, what are our options? That makes it a little bit easier. Driving, 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 driving. Let's make a detour. There ought to be a decent yeah. vantage point up ahead. On foot, let's take a look. What the fuck? What is that point here that I can see? Hey, Alright. Get back here. Sorry, I was wondering why it actually was marked there. It was marked to say that you can't go further than that. That's what your cutoff point is. Take him out. Oh yeah, the scrap heaps are gonna Boom. wish I had a tree to protect him. Don't you go, you son of a bitch. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm just gonna work our way through here and murder everything we can find along the way. those flying in. You saw that like the hundreds of them dropped out of them in the movies each. The hundreds of thousands even. We should see the point. Yep. There's a plan. Your ass is somewhere safe. Oh god. That was convenient. So these are MTs. Empty humanoid soldiers. Soldiers. Massiveless. Which way are we going? Oh, we're going that way. Oh, drain lance, nice. Mark oh, so you can remodel weapons? Nice. So okay, so that's what I can do with the rider gear that I actually had earlier on. Now I can have remodel weapons. I'm assuming that uh, drain lance or whatever or drain axe pretty much becomes a lancer or a pole arm of some sort. Keep it on. Oh. Don't bother. Wow. What are they listening to? Hello, Core. So. What the hell's going on? Where are you? Outside the city, with no way back in. Makes sense. <sighs> makes sense? Are you serious? What about any of this makes sense? The news just told me I'm dead, along with my father and Luna. Listen, I'm heading out to Hammerhead. <sighs> about the king. It's true. <laughs> Man. Hardest way to tell him, but... If you're gone. looking for the whole truth, you know where to find right. me. So the question is who's core? So I don't think we actually got properly introduced to core. Right. What did the marshal have to say? City being hammerhead. Oh, he's dead. King. He proper dead. We told you he did. Sad. That was the end of chapter one. Damn! Right. So, that was actually a fairly short finale to the chapter. Um, that was the end of chapter one, guys. 
Uh, obviously, we are now stuck outside of the city. We can't really stay in that area for too long. I'm assuming we're going to have to go to Hammerhead and then move on to somewhere else, like the Duskage region or so on, just so that we're out of the way of the armies until we can have some way of returning back to take everything and everyone down. But, um, yeah, at level 8, I'm pretty sure that's not going to be the case. So, um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. This has been a very short episode just for the tail end of uh, Chapter 1 of Final Fantasy XV. We will be back very, very shortly and very, very soon with another episode for your enjoyment. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Of course, you can always check the um, link up there. Subscribe if you enjoyed what you were watching, you enjoyed the way I was talking. And over here on this side, you can actually hit episodes of other shows that I've been working on here on the channel. Feel free to check those out and come back anytime. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.